Hey, let me show you how I use AI to remake a small part of the UI of my daily planner app. First, I took some screenshots from one of my favorite apps, I think is Todoist. It has a minimal but very functional UI. You can see here uh, some screenshots of what it looks like. I just chatted with Claude AI from Anthropic and decided to create the UI in HTML and CSS first. And this is like version one, it's quite good. But this is the latest version. There was still this bug that wasn't looking good. And so the final version looked like this. Then I downloaded the code so I can could have it on my local machine. And this is how it looks like. You can have a task which you do once or you can create a habit a recurring item that, which is precise, flexible or an on-demand recurring item. And then you can adjust the experience parameters, the item type, if it's progressive or basic, basically if you, for example, want to read every week 100 pages, you can add the start date, an end date, a day section, and you can add subtasks. So this is just a basic UI of all the functionality I need to then implement in my app. I'll show you now what it currently looks like in my app. It doesn't look that good, sorry. <laughs> this is the current form to add new tasks in my app. You can see it's okay, it's good enough for a first version. You have all the features you need, but it doesn't look really good. And you cannot add recurring items from this menu. Instead, you need to go here and use this form to add recurring items. And it's really work in progress. I didn't finish it at all. But now you're gonna see I improved it because I started implementing the design in uh, my app with AI. And this is one first version. Uh, you can see it triggers here the menu to choose what type of recurrence you have. But then the other parameters uh, <laughs> don't work yet. And here is a second attempt at creating this design. You can see it's quite similar to my HTML design here in my browser. You can see experience parameters, due date, plan date, day section, subtasks, and if I choose recurring, these appear here. And you can also see the dark mode. And so it's not fully done, but it's almost there. Hopefully tomorrow I will finish this. And that was actually it for today. It's not the only thing I worked on, but I just wanted to share this. And tomorrow you will probably see the end result. This was day 76 of making video a day about my gamified all-in-one daily planner. Stay tuned for more and subscribe or leave a comment if you have a question. See you.